In this video, we're going to upgrade a Cisco collaboration endpoint using CUCM. First, let's upload the software that we want to upgrade to, to CUCM. This is going to be a .cop.sgn file that we downloaded from Cisco.com. In the upper right corner of CUCM, let's go to Cisco Unified OS Administration and click Go. Enter the admin user credentials here. Now let's navigate to Software Upgrades and click on Install slash Upgrade. We need to pull down the software from an FTP server, such as FileZilla Server or Core FTP Mini. We can't just upload the file to the web interface. So make sure the file that we're uploading is on an FTP server or just run one on your local computer. Under Software Location and Source, select Remote File System. In the Directory field, type a forward slash if the file resides in the root directory. Otherwise, specify the directory path of the file. In the server field, enter the FQDN or the IP address of your FTP server and then user credentials, the credentials of that server. For the transfer protocol here, I'm going to use FTP. Then click on the next button. Find the software that you want to upload and click next. If your software doesn't show up, try putting the file in its own folder that doesn't have thousands of other files in it. The software is going to upload to CUCM. Once it's uploaded, you can check the file checksum you can compare this value to the one on the cisco.com download page just to make sure everything went okay. Then click next and the software will actually install. Once the status shows as complete, go to software upgrade, TFTP file management. Now find the .pkg file that was actually installed. One thing you can do is do a contains search and look for nine underscore and that will bring up all of the CE9 software that's on the CUCM. So this is our software. Let's go back to the CUCM CM administration page. Go to device, device settings, device defaults. Look at the device model that we're attempting to upgrade and make sure the software is the same as it was shown on the previous page in TFTP file management. This is now the default software that endpoints will run if nothing is specified under their phone load name field. Now let's check and upgrade a specific endpoint. Go to device, phone, and using the search, bring up the endpoint that we want to upgrade. In this case, I already have the old software name here. Delete this and add in the new software name ending in .pkg. After this, click on Save, Apply Config, and Reset. This will restart the endpoint and start the software upgrade. You will see that the endpoint goes unregistered. This is just because it's rebooting and upgrading the software. After a few minutes, the web interface should come back up and you can log in and check the software version on the left hand side. You should see the new version that you tried to upgrade to. I hope this video helps and thank you for watching.